We're keeping it with Telecom. Big exclusive from NDTV Profit now. Elon Musk's Starlink is ready to beam in India. And my colleague Aishwarya has all of those exclusive details, including the pricing and the beaming capacity. Yes, Aishwarya. All right, Tamanna. Um, like you mentioned, LOI is in place. Uh, we've heard about that the government providing LOI to Starlink. But what we're learning from our sources is uh, the big push in terms of bandwidth, the pricing, as well as a D2C push that they're talking about. So first off, let's talk about the phase one of their uh, capacity. Starlink will begin beaming about 600 to 700 GBPS uh, gigabits per second of satellite capacity over India once they uh, get their approvals, which is likely to happen uh, uh, soon between nine to 12 months in full swing. Apart from that, uh, the beaming capacity of 600 GPBS, what does that really mean, right? Uh, it means it will support about uh, 30,000 to 50,000 uh, subscribers concurrently. Um, now, 30,000 to 50,000 subscribers concurrently means over a certain area or a certain city. So uh, across India, it will, of course, have more capacity. But this particular subscriber uh, uh, base that we're talking about is concurrent data connectivity over a certain area, which would be as big as a city. Uh, now, they're also projecting a capacity of about 3 TBPS by 2027. And this is a, obviously subject to in-space approval of their phase two. So what we're hinting here is that in phases and in tranches, uh, the SATCOM companies will be allowed to open up their uh, capacity to the Indian market. Now, uh, Starlink had earlier said that they have identified two to three earth stations uh, uh, in India. Each of these earth stations will have about nine gateways planned per site. Apart from that, uh, apart from B2B service that Starlink is providing to the Indian market, they're also ready to introduce D2C, which is direct to customer model in India. Now, how exactly that will happen is something that we really need to look out for. And uh, only Starlink will decide whether they will be coming out with retail stores like Geo and Airtel. But they, uh, but right now, as of now, they do have a pact with Airtel as well as uh, Vodafone, uh, Airtel as well as Geo. Uh, as far as their B2B uh, plans are concerned, uh, this is what we're learning from our sources. Uh -huh. Now, a D2C service, that is expected uh, to be uh -huh. priced between $250 to $600, which will be ranging between 20,000 to 50,000 rupees. Um, we're seeing that uh, in our neighboring countries as well. Uh, and the commercial right. launch is targeted right. between 9 to 12 months is what we're learning from our sources. So these are the key details. Uh, we'll keep you posted on uh, their launch as well, closer to time. And, Most uh, certainly. Most bring certainly, you more Ashwarya. developments on I'm, that. I'm sure you will. <laughs> and everybody will be waiting for that. But need to slip into a very quick break. Thank you for this update. Slip into a break. Back with the pre-open.